Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. What you said, you made a good point. You said that they did they, the, the, the government yeah. took the men out of the house yes, with sir. the welfare, things like that. Yes, the question is, okay, that's what happened. We still we still living in a residue of that. Yeah. So now it's like, okay, these are the problems. Uh -huh. We've been going through it for years. Yeah. No matter what we tried to do to change it, yeah. it still happened. Yeah. So now it's like, okay, what's the solution? What's the problem? What is it that we have not tried? That could help. That's what we I marched. Need. That's what I need to do. Right? Oh, we marched. That don't work. We had uh, Dr. King. He did what he did. And that was 40, 50 years ago. So we had. We tried so many things. We got black men as the alt in the in the uh, political system. That didn't work. But yet, you know, you know, it's one thing that we didn't try. You know what that is? Let's show you. What's up going on, brother? What's your name? Greg. Greg? I'm Simakai. You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. So that's what we teach. We teach the Bible. We teach it how to how do we solve the many problems that's in our community. Right now we're dealing with how do we solve the problem of our women becoming baby mamas or becoming single single mothers where they gotta raise children by themselves. I don't know about that. I know like what started with the females being single mamas and all that? Uh huh. Government did that, bro. Right, they, right. You're absolutely said, right. And they said the men couldn't be in the house. Right, bro. And they couldn't get they couldn't get public aid and none of that if the man was there when they were right. project. So you speaking on that. it? Yeah. I, I really, yeah, yeah. They started that, but as far as like the violence, like in the streets with the guys, um, that's that's like I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people, a lot of people just ignore, bro. Because it's either it's either because of a female or because of money. Right. It ain't because of it ain't because of oh he B D, he G D. No. Uh, it ain't really that. Right, you right. I know for a fact because I, I know a lot of them. You know right. what I'm saying? What you saying is absolutely it's really, true. It really it's, is. Facts. it's about it's about a female, a dude gets hurt, right. he talking to her, or this, this and that, and you think he disrespecting him right. by doing that. Or it's about money. Right, so you know what I'm saying? right, and that's the thing. The thing about it is, okay, so we know those are the problems, and we know there's the reasons. Right. So what's the solution? Hey, bro, that's I, that's the thing. Hey, hey, that's my only thing, bro. Right. I can, so look, listen, know. listen. What you said, you made a good point. You said that they did, they the, that the government yeah. took the men out of the house yes, with sir. the welfare things like that. Yes, the question is, okay, that's what happened. We still we still living in a residue of that. Yeah. So now it's like, okay, these are the problems. Uh -huh. We've been going through it for years. Yeah. No matter what we tried to do to change it, yeah. it still happened. Yeah. So now it's like, okay, what's the solution? What's the problem? What is it that we have not tried that could help? That's what we I marched. Need. That's what I need to do. Right? We marched. That don't work. We had uh, Dr. King. He did what he did. And that was 40, 50 years ago. So we had we tried so many things. We got black men as the alt in the in the uh, political system. That didn't work. But yet, you know, you know, it's one thing that we didn't try. You know what that is? Let's show you. Get uh, what you want? Uh, let me come back. Go to Deuteronomy chapter one and one. It's one thing that we haven't tried because. According to the Bible, we are the Israelites. Right. Yeah. The Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans this. are the Israelites. I know this. And if you know about the Bible, you know this. Yeah, I know this. Who, who is who are the Israelites to God? Black people. But who are the Israelites to God? The Israelites are God's children. That's that's what the Israelites, the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are God's children. So do you, do you have children? No. You got you got children? You said you don't have children, right? Yeah. But y'all got cousins. Yeah. You, you, you was you had parents. Yeah. yeah. So growing up, your parents did your parents let you do whatever you wanted to do? Nah. Or they gave you instructions? Not at all. They gave you instructions. They gave you instructions, right? So when they gave you instructions and you didn't follow them instructions, what happened? 
got punished. You got punished. Would, would you agree? You got children? No, I, yeah, I got one. You got one? I got one. I got one more. <laughs> Did you ever get your son instructions? Yeah, and if he didn't do it, if he don't do it, what happened? If he don't follow your instructions, what happened? He get in trouble, right? So, so now, so now, just, let's put that in perspective. Read that real quick. The Book of Exodus, chapter four, and verse twenty-two. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. So the Most High God said that Israel is his son. Even his firstborn. So if, if the nation of Israel is God's son, what happened to the Bible with the Israelites? What did God give to the Israelites? I can't recall. He gave them commandments. He gave right. them instructions. Oh, the Ten Commandments. He gave them commandments. We say the Ten Commandments is more. It's more than that ten. But yeah, it's more than that ten. But that's what God gave because when when he came, when he took them out of Egypt. You go out of Egypt, then you had Moses went up on the mountain, you received the ten tongues, the ten commandments on the tablets. So he gave, what well, the Most High God gave Israel instructions. So let's see the Deuteronomy chapter. Are y'all you, familiar with the Bible? Y'all know who wrote the book of Deuteronomy? Y'all know Moses? Y'all familiar with Moses? I just know the basic stuff. Okay. But Moses, so Moses, I'm pretty sure y'all seen him when we printed Egypt, yeah, I saw that. stuff like that. Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy. I ain't know that. To the Israelites. Read that. Let's read that real quick. One, 27 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27 and verse 1. And Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you this day. So Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people. So they gave Israel the commandments of God. So Moses was the vessel that God used. How you doing, bro? How you doing, my brother? Come over, come over here. Join the, join the discussion. So, so when he parted the sea, was that before he parted the sea or after? It was after. This is when he parted the sea. That was when the, when God delivered them out of there. That's when Most High, the Most High delivered them out of Egypt, and that was that was part of the process of them leaving Egypt. Okay. So, Watch it again, bro. we spoke on how we spoke to deal with these problems, with these killing. Elders and everyone that's going to serve you. Uh -huh. And you would want to you know my opinion on what they should do. My opinion on what they should do or what we as a people should do uh -huh. is give them you know, just uh, certain resources for them to go to. Resources like what? Like uh, education, uh, employment, uh, you know what? So, uh, so let me so let me say let me say let me say something. Let me say something. Because what you just said is that not already in the community? They have they have programs. They got don't don't, don't correct me if I'm wrong. But they got program. Listen, but listen, but listen, but listen, listen. They had and I'm not saying nothing's wrong with the program. Don't don't get me wrong for what I'm saying. But they got programs where young men at a certain age group can learn go and learn a trade. They got programs for that. They got pro. They got after school. They got all type of programs in our community, but it has not fixed the issue in our community. That's another problem. But look, but look. Let's not go. Let's not. Let's not go somewhere else. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Because the solution. Listen. Listen. Let's listen. Because we just we just established that Israel is God's son. Israel is God's son, right? Right, because you've been, I think you were so there, the right? You've been listening. No, I was, I was, I was out there. They but you know, you, like you know what we're talking about. So, would you agree? Did you hear me when I brought out that Israel is God's son? Yes. The nation of Israel, the nation of Israel is what you see on this sign. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So, are we showing the solution? Because we've tried many things to correct the issues in our community. So, the solution, the one thing that we have never tried as a people was keeping the commandments. That's what we haven't tried to do. And that's the solution. Because listen to this. Read Deuteronomy 28 and 1. We have, hold on, hold on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. So this is Moses he's saying, it's, it's going to come to pass in the future. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, Moses is telling the Israelites, he said, hey, if you follow the commandments that God gave you, if you do what God, if you follow the instructions that God gave to you for you to follow, read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He said he's going to set 
the Israelites, which is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, on high above all people. Are we on high above all people right now? No. No, we at the bottom. That's no. So that lets you know right there, we didn't do the commandments. Right. We didn't follow the commandments. Uh -huh. So the, the blessing, we know that Israel is the Israel is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So he's saying, look, look, listen, I want to finish my point. Read. And all these blessings shall come on thee. So he's saying, I'm a, if you follow my commandments, I'm going to set you on high, and I'm going to give you blessings. Okay. Just like a father would his son. Yes, sir. You got children, you, if you got children, your son do good, you ready to, you there, ready to award, ready to give him accolades. But if he do wrong, what you going to do? You going to punish him. So read on. And overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if the, if the nation of Israel do what God told them to do, he going to set them on high above the nation. He going to bless them. He said his blessings going to overtake you. Read. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Are we blessed in the city right now? No, are we blessed? I ain't talking about you getting up in the morning. Yes, that's a blessing. But are we blessed as a people? No, we not. So now, but I'm saying, so that lets us know. So why are these things happening to us? And, and the solution, the solution is this. We have to keep the commandments. It's, it, yeah, that's true. But the thing is, if we unite, because in our community, you got brothers that's Muslim. You got brothers that's Christian. You got brothers that's Jehovah Witness. You got brothers that's gangbangers. If we come together, no, listen. If we come together and these men, no. But if we come together and everybody got all them differences, what's going to happen? We're going to be together and fighting just like our communities are right now. That's right. Because in our communities, you can walk down the street and the brother say, oh, yeah, I believe in God. The brother that's selling drugs, he got a cross on his neck. But yet he's selling drugs and killing off the people. Exactly. You selling poor But yet he's standing on the corner shooting the brother down in the street. But yet he go to church on Sunday and pay his tithe. Exactly. We can gather together all we want, but if we're not keeping the commandments, that's not gonna be. It's not gonna mean nothing. It's gonna come to naught. True. What happened? Just look up. Look at our history. There's many times that we've come together, and it never goes nowhere. That's and we still in the position that you are older brother. That's been forever. So you see, you've seen that's a lot. Brother, that's, that's been like forever. So you you've seen as many times we came together. I've seen done a lot. We, 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 you seen the Black Panthers. Yes. You've seen all that. We've come together, but what happened? When, the, when a lot of these gangs, look, when a lot of these gangs first started, why did they come together? Because we want to unify as a people. Right. But what happened? It fell apart. With you. Why did it fall apart? With the, with the corrupt mind. Exactly. Okay. So what's how does what's the solution to fix that corrupt mind? The Bible. The Bible is the solution because the Bible gives us those. But the Bible gives us everything we need to do to fix our community. For life. All right, bro, I gotta go. I right. Go, bro. I gotta go. Well, listen, listen to this real quick. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 4. There is one body and one spirit. So it's one body. That body is the nation of Israel. Read. And one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. So it's, it's one, it's one nation. We call to be together under the commandments of God. How you doing, sis? Come over here real quick. We out here for you, sis. Okay, what's your name, sis? Sina? Okay. Shani? Okay, my name is Simakaya. Let me ask you a question. What is the solution to fix the problems in our community? And ain't one problem, violence. How do we fix the violence in the community? Unity. Yes, that's a good answer because we do have to come together amongst our own. But when we that unity, when we come together amongst our own, what how what 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 must we do as as one, so to say, to keep that unity strong? What some of the religions that we follow as a people? Christian, Baptist. Those are all Christians. Are some of our people Muslims? So we got Christians, Muslims. Those two different religions. We got some of our people that are, what else? What's another religion? Moors, they say they Moors, they sovereign, Catholic, five percenters, Egyptologists, 
So if you got those, just let's start with those five. If those five groups, so to say, came together, are they gonna be able to walk, move in unison? I'm not really sure because like, they all have their different So if they came, right. So if they came together and held on to those beliefs, they're not gonna be able to unify. Because they, uh, one gonna believe he can have 20 wives, one gonna believe he can have one wife, one gonna believe he can do what he want, that he ain't gotta go get a license, and he can just drive around illegally because he's sovereign. There's gonna be too many differences. So for us to, and this is an excellent question, because we do gotta come together as one, but the thing is, what philosophy are we gonna follow as we together as one? And that one, that one philosophy, it's the Bible. We actually have to do what the Bible says. Because all of those groups that we that we mentioned, they all cite the Bible, they all quote the Bible, but they don't do what the Bible say do. Even Christianity, they don't do what the Bible say to do. How you doing, bro? How you doing, bro? What's your name? DJ. DJ, I, I don't know how, how to do you hear what we talking about? Yeah, y'all, Hebrew, 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 Hebrew,